Hey Libra, I'm D. Let's play cards, y'all. Well, I can already tell you this is not gonna be a great one yet again. I have something to do with that alert tomorrow and other shits that's going on. People are freaking the fuck out. And rightfully so. So, you know, I am not the collector of um, rainbows and butterflies and things. Nobody gives me those messages. Nobody. So, this is what we got. Your alert system is here to alert you. All right, let's have a look. See what's going on for Libra today. What's going on for Libra? Woo! Indecision, analysis, paralysis, the draining life force. And the first card is intuition. It's the high priestess. Are you listening to your intuition? Are you not? Because somebody has got all this stuck energy. It's like they keep staring at the things on the journey over and over and over again. And this is like, yeah, don't make any snappy moves, but it's not don't move at all. Time. Relocation, possibly. There's some traveling, plans of traveling. Everything's all in divine timing. It's time for something here. Interdependence to work with someone here to, I don't know, get on the road. There's a fork in the road. You already know that. That's been a thing. You've been seeing that for a while, but people keep trying to fix it, stay in it, and wait for things to get better. Y'all, things are not going to get better anytime soon. That's going to take a little while, like more than a little while. So, let's see. What cards do we want to use today? Speaking of happy, let's use the happy cards with rainbows and things. Let's see. What is going on for Libra? Four of Wands and the Moon. You see it. You know it. You feel it. It's in your bones. All right. Again, your intuition. Are you listening to it or are you fighting it? Five of Swords. Like, are you trying to win, win the good fight here? There's no prize at the end for being a martyr, people. So the whole thing is learning when, when to hold them and when to fold them. Not everything is fixable, Ace of Swords. Not everything is doable. Not everything is meant to last forever. Forever never lasts forever. And sometimes the shit's shorter than, than the times before or the times that will come after. Everything has its own expiration date, if you will. Queen of Cups. There's a lot of uh, psychic energy out already. All right, let's have a look, see what's going on here. Y'all, I still haven't fixed my nail. <sighs> All right. What's up with the uh, goddess of the moon? Which is the high priestess energy, which is going within. It's trusting your gut and your gnosis, the six of pentacles. The something here is an unequal give and take. There's some partnership. There's all this taking. You know, maybe it's time to like give back or to, I don't know, invest in yourself, possibly. Death here. Yeah. The Queen of Pentacles is like, um, mm -hmm. dead. The Wicked Witch is dead. Can I have another card? Five of Swords. Oh, the Six of Cups and the Lovers. So there is something going on with these lovers here, quite obviously, right? Or we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it. Somebody wants to walk away from a lover, from a contract with a lover. Someone's like, yo, yo, this shit ain't working. Lovers, title card, Eight of Cups. Like, mm. It's not, this is not fulfilling. It's not maintainable. Something's making you lose strength. Continuing to look at the thing and try to fix it. I feel like the people try, 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 but they don't know any other way other than to try, try, try. There's something you need to see about money or about where the money's going or about who is going to get the money or how to collect the money. 
Somebody feels like, I don't know if it's an entitlement, like nobody's going to run me out of this town. Nobody's going to run me out of my house. Nobody, nobody's going to tell me. Uh, it's not about the people telling you. It's just about you learning that it's time to go, that the world changes, the people change around you. And sometimes we can't stick around for all the fucking changes. That's the ace. No. Nope. Whew, the hangman. I do feel like there's this um, hanging by a, a thread type deal feeling like oh, holding on for dear life, not wanting to look any deeper or any further. High Priestess, those are two Pisces energies and the Eight of Swords. Somebody continues, even though they're enlightened, they're awakened here with the, with the hangman. Continues to do the same shit and expect a different result. Somebody is continuing to stare at something, justice, and thinking that the shit's gonna change. If you give it, like, if you like, give it the death stare, if you keep looking at it, if you make an, uh, enough, I don't know, good karma, good choices, you thinking the people think it, not, not, this shit ain't gonna come around. So whatever, like, you're trying to save, or I don't know if you're trying to save someone or something. It's like the people aren't hearing the communication. It's falling on deaf ears. Somebody may not be in a place to even hear people out. It's just not even... I feel like it's just not even worth the conversation. I feel like the conversation... It's been overplayed. Like the people have already talked about this shit for so long. So either you need to go somewhere or somebody is stuck trying to get to you. Plain and simple with the same background. So, you know, some Libras are traveling and others are waiting for the people to travel towards them. But the, the, the fucking movement is out there. I don't know what is going on lately. Fuck. All right, what's this? What's all this relocation and movement, please? Nine of Wands, get out of your own way. Or somebody needs to get out of their own way. Like, you get out of your own way. Or somebody is being blocked by... Says the fuck about your blockages. Two of cups between the soulmates here. Three of wands and the future. The chair is like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna move on anyways. Temperance. So, somebody's like, it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time. I see that things are very lonely over here. Four of cups. I'm missing a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of things being missed out on. Because somebody... Things that they can control things or that they're going to fix something or that the world's going to fix itself and right its access and you'll be able to carry on as usual. I assure you that will not happen. There will be no writing accesses. The, the world has already done its fucking spin and tip thingy. So we're on a different axis. We're on a different plane. The alerts tomorrow. Who the fuck knows what that's going to do to us. But uh, in the spraying of the pesticides in neighborhoods, you know, just like outright poison. I told you there's some sort of plastic shit in my water. Like if I'm not drinking it, I'm taking a shower in it. The biggest organ is this skin. Scary shit. So let's see, tick tock, tick tock. What's this timeless energy or it's time or, you know, thinking that things are going to go back in time. Seven of Swords, that is not. <laughs> All right, I do feel like there is some strategizing. Somebody is, shh. I feel like, I don't know, somebody said Bugs Bunny this morning. So I feel like be very, very quiet. I think I saw a bunny rabbit and I'm not doing the whole impersonation of the Bugs Bunny thing, but you get my point. So that's a new beginning, though. The bunny is a new beginning. It's what you desire. Uh, it's something that's going to grow. And I feel like somebody's been looking at this fucking bunny for a long time. It also has to do with children or a child. or I already said there's only two options. One, two, or more than two. That's three options. All right, so somebody feels like maybe some time has been stolen from them that they can't get back. Now maybe somebody's like, I don't know. Ooh, and like maybe I should have done the things earlier or should have, could have, would have. That doesn't help anybody either, though. So I wouldn't do that shit. Something may have to do with a Leo. All right, which I wish I had the confidence to do this early. I wish I had the strength to put myself out there to, to do the plan, the soul searching. Because the hermit knows that four of swords, that the things will come to an end. That, you know, something is not everlasting. 
Three of Swords, that's what I said. And that's the Seven of Swords. Four and three is seven, and seven, that's, that's seven. It's a lot of stealing, a lot of theft, Ten of Swords. <sighs> ten of Wands and the Four of Cups, the only way to get, and the Ten of Pentacles, the only way to get better is surround yourself with people who believe in you. I feel like I said this yesterday. I know we say it often because, you know, that deck comes up often. Something about working, King of Swords. I uh, know your role, I feel like. You know what I mean? Know what you can and what you can't do, what you are and what you're not capable of. And don't be unreasonable with yourself. <sighs> All right. Let's have a look. See, I, I'm looking at these cards. These are usually happy messages. Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. Yeah, don't be trying to... Listen, if you're a star, you don't belong in a motherfucking square. So don't let the people try to cram you in there, right? Remove yourself from the situation. Don't expect people to get you or to understand it or anything like that. People are very selfish. And there's, you know, not necessarily something wrong with that. I mean, there's, there's a balance in everything, right? It's not only about being right. Well, it is, I guess, if you're... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know what that was all about, but they fin I finished my sentence with that, and then here we are. You're about to be astounded. What is this? Enjoy your extraordinary weakness. Do you know what you have created? No, besides an intergalactically known saunter named after you. Definitely being watched. Inspiration in the eyes that have watched you. Hope in the minds that have admired you. In, <coughs> sorry, love in the hearts that you have known. But you might ease up on your sachet before someone gets hurt. So don't be overdoing the shits. Not bad, kiddo. Not bad at all. So, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. Um. So what was this one? It's not only about being right. Yeah, you can't cram the things down people's throats and you can't make them understand. So I've been saying for a while that people can't come with you some places and there will be switching of sides. Um, it's inevitable and everybody's going to do it on their own time. So we're apparently just going to keep on talking about it. But it seems like a daily thing. There's more to see, more to know. It's hard to escape all this fucking craziness. All right, so... In all tests of character, mm -hmm. when two viewpoints are pitted against each other, this is, is this not what I just fucking said? I don't really know these cards, so I definitely did. In the final analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, but who went the greater length to cons in considering other people's perspective. Don't you agree? I do. So, again, you, if people don't see a problem with their behavior, they will not change their behavior. And it is not up to you to keep trying to show them there's something wrong with your behavior. It's up to us individually to figure out that we're assholes and don't do that anymore. So, people can't change the asshole in us. It's up to us to change the asshole in us. So, it looks like people are doing that. Um, and some are learning that they cannot Convince yourself, not others. You can't change people. The need not to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in a personal relationship is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need <coughs> because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in a more effective way. I'm fucking choking. Again. <coughs> Oh, Jesus Christmas. Y'all. The allergies say they're like moderate in this area. And you like look up what, what's floating around. No grass, no rag. We, like, so what, what are the allergens out there? I don't understand that either. Like fucking, can you riddle me this? Like, could you, I don't, I don't get it. All right. So, let's see. I'm looking at a wheelchair, and I'm, like, going to get a test today on my leg or legs. Uh, an EMG, because I got wicked bad nerve damage. And I'm already tripping over my fucking one of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen when I'm tripping over both of them. Oh, God. Anywho, 
And don't mind me, I always have some sort of motherfucking health problem. It's an everyday thing. Tomorrow I'm going to uh, the infectious disease doctor because I have latent tuberculosis, if I haven't already told you that one. Uh, I think I have because it went with the car accident that I didn't get into when my brakes went because I was getting tests for the latent tuberculosis that I got from the hospital that I volunteered at. So, I'm going to have to be on medication for that for a while. Even though it's not active, um, it can be active at any time. And who knows with the fucking corona running around and whatever else. Oh, <sighs> yeah. So, like I said, I always got shits going on. So, what's this over here with the high priestess and the goddess of the moon? What are you talking about? A child? Children? Spontaneous? Uh, there's more soulmates, an aha moment, a child's having an aha moment about some secrets or, uh, in secret. There's, there's a lot of thoughts going on behind the scenes here. Shh, like I said, somebody, uh, I don't know, the time has come to have some sort of breakthrough. I do feel like, um... Focus on your needs, moving on, that is what you do, right? And this says a healthcare provider right here. Um, ooh. anywho, supportive friend, peer, soulmate, helpful companion, something with the child is having some sort of enlightenment. Ooh, fuck off. 1111 11, twin flame is soulmate shit for a deal, but for, for real, I cannot with myself. Somebody might want to make a deal. There has been a lot of this stubborn energy like around with like Leo always wanting to come out. Um, and this is a fix, fix the middle card, which is I think Leo is a fixed sign. And if it's not, whatever the fuck, I don't care. Anywho. But moving on, we also have Scorpio and Taurus out here, but I don't really think it's about the signs. What I really think is about doing, stepping up to do the right thing, right? It's time to move forward, move on, let the things go in the past. Something is very spontaneous. It definitely involves children or childlike energy or being a fool, but it's not being foolish, right? Because all you already know all the things that are going on right back here. There is like a... Uh, a resourcefulness that there you need to dig down or somebody's trying to I don't know hang on somebody's resources or somebody needs some sort of resources in the perspective too like the unconditional love and doing the right thing and stability and a mothering energy all this dependable energy but if it was so dependable why would we have all these problems can you fucking tell me the white wolf, trust your inner knowing. Resilience, that the things will, you, I don't know, you have like the ability to carry on and move on. Just get out of your own way. And almost it's like this lone wolf thing like that, but that's okay too. There's that Leo. So trust your instincts, maybe about a man. Ooh, oh, ooh. Jeez. Libra of the world, big cycle ending right there, having to do with stress and family and some sort of illness, or there's a new cycle opening up with family and an and, and illness and shits like that. So there's all this like private communication going on, and I feel like, you know, all the secrets and all the unknown stuff, it's uh it's exhausting. Because it's still out there and about, and the people are talking about it. They're thinking about it. Things don't just stay in our brains, right? So if somebody's thinking about killing someone, just because you don't say the motherfucking words doesn't mean the shit didn't go out to the universe and that the energy isn't running around out there. So ooh, be careful. Watch your thoughts. Um, I don't know. Be more, what is that? Mindful. There's a lot of information gathering and a lot of thinking. And it's like, no, I really like, you know, I really got to make this decision. This is something that I really have to do. And I have to do it for myself because I'm not happy. So unexpected rendezvous with the traveling. And there's some collective consciousness family. Like I, I feel something just isn't right here. And it's time to make a move. All right. So what's this indecision? 
falcon, a strategy. It's a plan. Which way are you going to go? Because you already know the devil. So there could be a separating from a mother, a father, a partner, a work situation, or wherever you go, like you take you wherever you go. So if you think that changing the, the scenery is going to change you or change the problems, it's not. So be sure that when you make the moves, you're really ready to make the moves. Because if you're not, you're going to have the same motherfucking problems. Wherever you go, you take you wherever you go. Yeah, that's not. So the devil's right here. Or somebody's trying to, maybe this devil's trying to find out the plan. Or stop this transition. Or somebody's trying to like get out of being stuck with the devil. Or next to the devil. Or dealing with the motherfucking devil. Somebody could be a Capricorn. There's a, an, an, an illusion. There's something going on here with the fantasy and the hangman. There's a stalemate. Ooh, somebody is a lot of delay tactics. Like, I'm not gonna. I can't. It's not the right time. Rah, rah, rah. And whether it's to come or go. Like, so the situations, you could be on either side of them. Um, y'all, but somebody is in isolation. They want to come towards you and they're having a hard time doing that. Or, you know, you need to estrange yourself from some situation that just, just is not working. Right? And the people just like have been refusing to let, let sleeping dogs lie. Oh, there's the wolf again. There's like this calling. If something's calling you forward or calling someone forward, there is it's just a huge alert. This says alert. Like, I cannot. Can you even see it? Because it's like white on white. It says alert. Trust me. Whew. These are both very, I would say, clever energies, too. Uh, stay woke, people. Stay woke. I just like, is this alert going to, like, wake the dead or trigger some, like, zombie? Like, what, what are we doing here? What is going to happen? I really feel like it's not that good at all, but we already know that. So could you tell me more than it's not that good at all? Because that really is not, that's not even a thing. All right, here's death again. Oh boy. Somebody feels uh, defeated. Like the whole world is out after them. There's definitely like a change in focus and a need to implement a strategy here with this, this need to change direction with the draining life force. Like, you know, what did it say yesterday? Don't, if you're willing to die having whatever left undone, like do the shits. Continually to look. So the cross watches too. So Libra cross watches, right? If you keep staring at it, the shit ain't changing. So something's got to change. Here's a tower. What's this uh, traveling and relocating energy? A man. Ooh. Magnets and the time has come. Ooh, ugh, ugh. All right, something may have to do with a cancer and children, yet again, and about the ability to be happy. Like, I do feel like some people are having a hard time finding happiness, and that's because somebody's overstayed their welcome. Things have been stuck, about to be unstuck. I have to stick that upside down. Also, I did say, like, there's some sort of, like, hidden plan. Uh, and there's a lot of ego around here as well. Pride and ego. The people just can't. They won't. The high priestess. And I will tell you, like, somebody is uh, afraid of some sort of secret coming out. And there's also some sort of illness. Now, this man could be afraid of some sort of illness out in someone else or you're for, I don't know there's a fuck there's illness okay there's a lot of worry too about the traveling 
something's falling apart at the seams or someone is falling apart as the se at the seams. There's the dog again. So definite illnesses and shits like that. So like traveling to a healthcare worker, I don't know, going to see somebody that's sick or some shits or finding out that somebody's sick and they're gonna travel towards you or somebody's so anxious about traveling towards you or sibling. This could go so many ways. Uh, watch out for the animals. Something's up with the animals. I did see a horse, it just didn't come out. Uh, TikTok, hermit in the mountain. And the motherfucking devil, again. Pride and problems. Delays, delay, 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 deny, 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 devil, devil, devil. The hermit's like, get the fuck out of here, will you? So sick of this shit. It's abusive. I know there's better. I see better. I can't maintain this over and over and over. We keep doing the shit over and over and over. And I've had enough of doing the shits over and over and over. Because this ain't love. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't that. So, unless the people are prepared to, like, collaborate and work together, the people are getting, there's a lot of releasing going on. So, you know, like I said, incoming or outgoing, depending on who you are and what the fuck you got going on. Ladybug has come out a couple times. I got one in my ear today along with, what else is in there? Dragonflies and, uh, see, no, not sea monkeys. Seahorses, see? I have no idea what's up with the horses, but seahorses or actually seeing horses with the eyeballs, I have no fucking idea what's up with them, but I keep mentioning them uh, in, in the last few minutes. Whoa, Nelly. Somebody keeps trying to like stop the clock. Like, no, it's like a field of influence. Like, no, it's not time yet. No, wait, no, no, well, no, wait. Oh, well, maybe we can do this. So maybe we can do that. And it's like, fucking maybe not. Let's not and say we did at this point. Oh, and I saw a sea turtle fucking um, uh, tattoo on somebody's hand this morning. And I was like, don't, you? I said, I know I'm going to see them. So there she is. Gaia Mother Earth, she already kind of popped out a little bit down here. And uh, this is the take in the home, the authentic self, take you, the learned person, everywhere that you go. So learn the lesson or don't learn the lesson, but uh, we're just going to keep on repeating this shit until we do. Because we can't tell anyone what to fucking do. If you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you're determined to learn, nobody can stop you. Everything is about choices y'all hates a lack of imagination yeah don't we know it something with the judge judgy people people hate the people it's deep wisdom to know thyself yeah so what haters in your dark magic you could take it and cram it right up your motherfucking who cares <sighs> it's all it's like somebody is cursing you or you feel cursed or this is some sort of family curse. Or somebody's doing, somebody feels like somebody's doing black magic. Or somebody is literally doing black magic. Some sort of dark magic. Doesn't have to be black. Just whatever. <sighs> there's also some sort of, there's an energy vampire around for sure. Somebody wants to ruin someone. All the hate and the things, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger because nothing keep, nothing changes. Nothing changes if nothing changes, motherfuckers. So I don't know. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. People want to live different, do different, and be different. But the only thing we can control in, and not even that we're in total control is our lives and our side of the street. Other than that, mind your business, people. Kiss and make up with the people you need to kiss and make up with and let go of the other ones. Uh, there's a need to, like, be close to your family and your loved ones because not that I'm saying it's Armageddon or everything's going to implode or something's going to explode, but you never know when that's going to happen. Or, well, you know, when the government's going to burn down a fucking city near you. 
You just don't know. And like the news said today, nobody wants to go to the mall anymore. What parent is going to take their child to the mall with all the robberies and the things that are going on? So there's so many stores shutting down. Tell you what, trouble is around all the corners. You only feel when you stop trying. Whatever doesn't kill me is what I just saw that my thumb was on after I just went through that whole spiel about the scary people out there everywhere. Uh, if opportunity does not build a door, make the shit happen. You know, you can't wait for people to show up at your life and be like, oh, here's all the wonderful things. Here's the apologies. Here's, here's, the, here's the acceptance that you need. Here's the big picture. No, it's up to us to find all those things and to put the pieces together to make the picture for our own perspective because we are unique. We're not everybody else. Collectively, we work in a unit, but individually, we have to be ourselves. There's too many followers anyways. And, you know, there's nobody else to be. Everybody's wanting to be someone else, do something else, have what someone else has. Just be happy with the shit you have. Daydreamers. A lot of daydreaming. Wishing. And the world and its desire are passing away. But... For the people who do the will of God will live forever. So, you know, I said it's not Armageddon, but it kind of fucking feels like it. Focus on what you want. Never forget to be grateful for what you have. I kind of already said that a little bit. In my own way. All right. Let's take out the really uh, hurtful cards. Oh, I've seen the broom a couple of times. Keep your place in space clean. Chaos. Shit's falling apart, y'all. Falling apart. Mayhem. Yeah, that's all the robberies and the things. So just saying. Criminal organizations all over the place. They are our government. I mean, and another thing, like somebody said, and I'm not going to like steal people's shit. It's like, you know, which we already know this, but everyone at the top is corrupt. Everyone. Doesn't matter who they are, what they own, all of them, correct. Rules are made for thee, not for me. Oh, get the fuck out of here. So, you know, there's a lot of corruption going on, a lot of criminal shit going on, a lot, a lot, a lot of chaos here. The soulmates, it's time to make decisions about the soulmates, where you're going to be and where you're going to end up, or where you're not going to be and where you're not going to end up. <sighs> So, friends in love. Love and friends immortal. Like we literally just said this here. And the world and its desire are passing away. But for those who do the will of God will live forever. John 2.17. So, I don't know. It could be like 2.17 on the time for something. And, I don't know, February 17th. That Bible, whatever verse, could be even more. There could be more information in there. But, uh, yeah. So, immortal is deities, legend, Frankenstein, that ain't it. Medical breakthrough, soul, dark magic, which we already said, vampire, already kind of said that too. Heaven, life after death, already said that. Oh, God, astro traveling. Yes, that's another thing. Lucid dreaming and astro traveling are very real. That's when you are partially awake and partially asleep with the perfect balance. And you can participate and control what you are dreaming about. Um, you can also project yourself to be in another place in space when you get really good at it. Uh, just make sure, y'all, that you end up putting your feet back on the ground. Get grounded because when you, like, you know, are off in space. Didn't I say that earlier? I'm like, somebody's a dreamer. Somebody's feet aren't on the ground, so they don't understand. All right. So, and this says the undead. So, I'm like, oh, is this, is this, is this fucking thing, the alert, going to awake the undead? Whatever the fuck that is. But... I don't know, I feel like there's some weird shits going on that we can just not even pretend to be imagining. The Simpsons haven't figured it out, South Park hasn't figured it out, and there hasn't been a movie made about it entirely, but a collective amount of episodes of the things in the movies is where we're at. Gossip. Mm-hmm. There's that car accident again. Something about mountain roads. So there's a lot of traveling, hit and run, drunk drivers. So be careful, people, about what you're doing. DUIs, twisted metal, uh, melted, molten metal here. There is a lot of uh, crooked jealousy stuff out and about, but there's also a lot of love. So picking and choosing about the people that belong in your life. We should be picking and choosy about them. Social media gossip. 
Gossip, gossip, gossip. There's a lot of lying and fact checking. I mean, what was, where are you supposed to get the facts from if nobody really ever tells us? And how do these people all like know the things that are going on and we just walk around oblivious to it? I mean, I, I think I am pretty up on things, but mind blowing. Scandals, harassment. Oh, I'm getting away with a crime. Master master plan corruption. I said everybody was corruption at the top. Untouchable, the people, the politicians, the criminal organization. This is politicians and this is a criminal organization. Is everywhere out. It's all, every man for himself. There's the dead people. I'm wicked loud today. Uh, and there's a warning. That was the lighthouse. So, y'all. Oh, the undead. The shovel. Raising the dead. High Priestess and the Child. So there's a lot of uh, past stuff coming up. Writing Injustice, the memories, the, the people, like like I said, the people wanting to make up with the parents that, or parenting being some sort of something with the children here. This says child and this says parenting. Teacher and child, child and teacher, mentor, orphan, I don't know. This is also um, high priest, high priestess energy. It's very religious, church-like. Uh, somebody is a spiritual leader and teacher out and around you, and the people are looking for guidance because there's motherfucking demons everywhere. They're not going to go away, and I don't know why I get so excited about it, but it's because it's an energy and it's wicked annoying. Sucks the life out of me. So we'll, we're, we're better when we work together. Somebody's afraid of magic uh, because I don't know if it hasn't been presented to them correctly or if, I don't know. But there's a lot of fear around a lot of stuff here. And what I guess maybe what the fear is, maybe it's not strictly about magic, but I do feel like, uh, I don't know where I was the other day and someone's like, oh yeah, my brother used to work in a graveyard and there used to be like, Stuff left out there for rituals all the time. So, like, it's really real. People really do weird shit all the time. And the people at the top, who knows what the motherfucking sacrifices are. I'm sure shit ain't a fucking chicken. So, you know, it's probably all those children that are missing. I mean, but what do I know? Honestly. And I will tell you, I do pick up on the crazy stuff. Uh, I love the comments to hear about the things that are going on and why I get alerted and stuff. But I am never going to tell everybody that everything is honky-dory and that things are going great. It's just it's not going to happen. Because, like I said, we are not in those kind of times. Uh, but make the best out of the situations that you have. So if you need to move on, move the fuck on. Don't wait for the right time. It'll never be the right time until it's really the wrong time. And then you got no place to go. Success is no accident. It's hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing and learning to do. So share the wealth, some sort of mentoring ship going on around here, uh, and a lot of lesson learning. Three of Wands, the future is very important. It's very important that we plan the things out um, accordingly in order to maintain some sort of happiness amongst the motherfucking chaos everywhere with the Ten of Cups and the Five of Wands. So, Empress, in order to, like, stay on the throne here, High Priestess, and continue to receive message and do the things, Spirit is like, are you gonna motherfucking do what I told you to do? We've already tried to do it the free will way and fix it and clean it up and shits like that, but, you know, the shit ain't getting clean. King of Cups, we can't, you can't polish a turd, bitches, okay? Oh, my God. All right, toodaloo.